It's not always the woman's fault, it's as likely to be a male factor problem. There are certainly many causes for infertility. Some of the most common ones are uh, lack of regular ovulation, or we ca call that uh, irregular ovulation or lack of ovulation, and that probably accounts for about 20% of infertility. What is very uh, infrequently recognized is problems with the male partner, problems with sperm in either concentration or uh, motility of the sperm is the main factor or a causative factor in up to 40 to 50 percent of couples. So um, it's not always the woman's fault. It's as likely to be a male factor problem as the sole problem or a contributing factor. Other uh, issues that could lead to infertility is anatomical problems with the female anatomy such as uh, blocked fallopian tubes which can result from previous uh, pelvic inflammatory disease or pelvic infection, some conditions such as endometriosis which is uh, a fairly common gynecologic disorder which leads to um, tissue that normally lines the uter lining the uterine cavity that we call the endometrium being found outside the uterine cavity and that endometriosis tissue creates an inflammatory reaction that could lead to scarring and to uterus fallopian tubes being stuck in areas that they can't function properly. We list all those factors where the anatomy is being altered or the tubes are scarred or blocked as mechanical or tubal factor infertility. Um, occasionally there can be problem with the uterus per se. The uterine cavity may be distorted by fibroids, significant fibroids. And um, there's a, a not infrequent uh, number of women or couples in whom we can't really find a cause. And we call that unexplained infertility because uh, we've excluded common factors. More difficult uh, category, which isn't really a diagnosis per se, but we know contributes significantly, particularly in the current demographic, is the normal decrease in reproductive potential with advancing reproductive age. As women get older, both the quality and the quantity of the eggs left in the ovary uh, diminishes, and therefore the chance of each ovulation leading to a healthy egg that could lead to a viable pregnancy is diminished.